OK, I'm going to open So What Pro and I'm going to close the Tips page and I'm going to come up here to the top Alpha Toolbar and it's pretty standard for programs that run on a Windows computer. File, Edit, View, Tools, Options, Window and Help. If you're not used to embroidery software then yes, it can be very confusing. File and I want to open an embroidery file. So I hit open and I've already been into a folder to find a non jeff design and I've got one here called here we go Battenberg Lace and it's a coaster. It's also a DST and that's an industrial format which means it can't be stitched on a Janome machine. That's perfect. Up on the icon toolbar you've got an icon of a hoop. It's 14 icons from the right hand side. Okay, We click that and it brings up hoop option properties and we want Jeff and we want the 140 by 200 large. That's your B hoop. And we tell that OK. And there's my design sitting in my B hoop. And I know it sits in it because I've stitched this and made a huge great big cloth for a table. But as this is, I can't use it. I have to convert it. So I go to File and I tell it Save As and I want to save it as a Jeff. Now to get this, I come down here to Save as Type. Because as soon as you tell it up here Save As, it will open this, which is your Save As dialog box. And I don't want to save it in Hot Air Layout. I want to save it in my Libraries which is the new name for my documents. This is a Windows 7 program and I'm going to click on my embroidery one. Where can we put it? New folder. It's empty. Batten lace square. No. I want it to be a Jeff. So I click this little chevron on the end of this part here because now I've got my destination I've got my file name in this little window, save as type, and I don't want the bother baby lock professional. I want, and I click on the chevron, the Genome Plain Jeff. Okay, and instantly it's changed that to Jeff. And I tell that save. Now it's saved that design for me. It's also put it into a smaller hoop. I don't want it in a smaller hoop. I wanted it in the 140 by 200. The program tends to think for you. There it is. That's what I wanted it in. OK. Because I don't have a 110 by 110 hoop. I've got a 110 by 126. OK. So now that's now ready for me to stitch. So I can close this, save changes, and I'm going to tell it no. And now I go to my Windows Explorer, my Libraries, Embroidery, and my new folder my Battenberg lace. I copy that, right click onto it. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a tick in my throat and I copy it. And now I go to my external drive. I have to pause the video for a moment. OK, I have put in a um, compact flashcard for my Genome machine. There we go. And this is the file system that my machine uses. I think yours uses EMBF5. 
So I'm going to open that one and into this I'm going to paste. And that's that design we just converted inside of So What Pro. And there it is. And now this is ready to go into my embroidering machine. Now to get the file system you put your compact flash card into your embroidery machine and your machine should offer to format it for you. If it doesn't you have to tell it to format it and to do that you use your set mode embroidery and you key forward until you come to a screen that says format and you say yes please and it asks you machine memory USB memory or compact flash memory. Now, I don't think your machine has got a USB and you pick the appropriate one which is the ATA card and then you say yes to that and you say yes to every other question then when it's finished and the warning signs go off of the machine screen you exit embroidery mode and you go back into sewing mode and then you can remove your compact flash card. Then you take it to your computer and you do what we've just done here. And that's paste it into the files that your machine would have put onto your compact flash card. Okay, and I hope that helps you. I got a little bit confused there myself because I don't use So What Pro. I use the Genomi software. But So What Pro is an extremely nice program. I'll give you one little word, well, it's more than one little word of warning. Be very careful when you resize designs. You'll hear people say that you can alter the densities. You can only do that if you have the expensive software. You can alter density it alters the whole design and you don't want that to happen. Now I'm going to open this and I'm going to open a new design. We'll go into E up, thank you. Open Big Cats. Now this is a purchase design that I'm just opening. Now, this particular design is made up of lots and lots of layers and they're very loose density layers. And this is Genomi's own software. I'm going to highlight that. And there it is, there. Now you will hear people say to you that this program makes new objects. It doesn't takes a guess at what the objects are. Okay, everything that's gone dark pink is this. I'm going to right click on that, object details, and all it's going to give me is dimensions. It's not going to give me anything else. It can't give it to me. It doesn't know it. Okay, so let's look at this bit. That's a teeny little bit up here. I'm going to right click into that object details. And that tells me it's pattern 1, I very much doubt that, stitch spacing 1, stitch spacing, stitch length 3.6. Now, I'm going to cancel that and I accidentally hit this. Right. I'm going to blow that right up. not high enough yet. There it is. I'm going to use my built-in ruler that's in my software and I'm going to measure the density of this. 
that point to that point is 1.5 1 1.1 1 .1. where's the entrance point gone it's back there 1 2 1 2 point 8 now so what pro would turn every one of these into a blanket density so all these layers and there are hundreds of layers in this design view show selected colors only and one okay there we go it would turn the whole of this into a point four density that would make this a bullet stopper that's why you have to be very careful about playing with densities you've got to know what it is you're doing and the same goes for decreasing show selected color only and we'll look at this one that's a very loose density so is that so is that so is this believe it or not and so is this and so what pro would make the whole of this 0.4 density so be very careful don't jump in and think that you can just go in and alter designs as and when you feel like them make them bigger make them smaller you don't know what the digitizer has done you don't know what the densities are that the digitizer has used and there are very few programs who will resize for you and give you your original densities this particular program which is Denomi is very good I'm not knocking it and I wouldn't I won't knock it because it is a fantastic program but if there's a special effect and I resize it I can lose that special effect because the program if it doesn't have the stitch pattern in its data bank can't replicate it and it makes it makes a judgment call it will look at the needle penetrations and say that looks like the fill that we've got in this program and it alters the whole fill so that's why I say be very careful now I've rabbited on so I'm going to close this now and I'm going to stop the video and I do hope it's all helped you